Here's some more of the items that I purchased for my ongoing projects. Here's a set of drill bits that um, I purchased for both use by the cordless drill and uh, because I'm going to be using the bits, which are in metric sizes, to create holes for pop rivets. Uh, these pop rivets are four millimeters in size. I got the washers as well that match that size. So I'll be able to use the drill bits, four millimeter drill bit, and the four millimeter pop rivets to hold the uh, sheet metal that I intend to put on top of the cabinets to protect their contents from the weather. I got some larger uh, pop rivets. These are 4.8 millimeters. I'll probably use the 4.8 millimeter drill bit for that. And I also got the hand riveter that you use to put these in place. So I'll be showing you how to use this device now that I have a drill, drill bits, and pop rivets. The only thing that's missing at this point is the sheet metal that I need to purchase. So that's that. Here's a couple of uh, buffer pads. These are used in the high speed, speed Dremel tool for polishing. We might be using these on the headlight project to uh, see if we can not buff that headlight to uh, becoming clear. Right now it's yellow and I'm going to put Brasso on these polishing pads and then use that to uh, mechanically buff if the hand buffing isn't sufficient to do the job. Here's some assorted tools I got. I got another big can of WD-40. Um, thinking that this is going to be a uh, <laughs> it's going to be a, a large consumable for the uh, Easy Rider project. It's already gone through one can. I got a bigger funnel. I had a little one. I like it a lot, but it uh, doesn't move as much material or vol volume of liquid as I need sometimes. So I got a bigger one just to help me get that done. I got a little tiny applicator of machine oil. It only cost something like 25 or 30 cents. So I couldn't resist. It's probably just mineral oil in a little applicator. I think this was originally made for sewing machines or something like that, but it's going to come in handy for just applying a small amount of oil wherever. And sort of, you know, it's a lighter grade oil than the three in one oil that I've already got. I got a marker that'll write on uh, glass and plastic because I need to start marking my um, uh, projects up. One of the things that happened is when I do the oil change on the Easy Rider, my pen ran out and it wasn't, the line just isn't all that uh, definite. So what I thought I would do is just get a, a pen with a better tip so I can find my oil level because this is exactly half of what the oil level is for the Easy Rider oil change. That's 2.05 liters. And the other pen I had, the tip was too fine, so I got a medium tip pen. And as you can see, that worked out great. Finally, I got this little pick, and I don't know why I got it, because it was, I think, because it was inexpensive and kind of an interesting idea. If I need to pierce anything, I can pierce it with this little pick. The pick cost about 30 cents. So, funnel cost $1.50. This was 30 to 50 cents. This cost 42 Hong Kong. That's about $5.50. And uh, this little guy cost 75 cents. This cost about, I think, $8, something like that. This cost about three dollars. This cost about two fifty or three dollars. These cost about twenty five cents each. This is two dollars. This is two dollars. And this riveter is five dollars. So that was a good day. I managed to buy a whole bunch of stuff for not very much money. The pen cost $1.50 and the pick cost $0.50. Cents. So I had a great day buying stuff yesterday. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, giving me a like, and leaving me a comment. 
I really enjoy making these videos and I want to know from you how I can make them better. The whole point of these videos is to demonstrate that if I can do something, you can do it too. Well, that's it for now. So long. And remember, keep making.